Good evening, and thank you very much for uh, attending uh, this part of the uh, conference session. Uh, today and this evening in this paper, I want to begin by summarizing the historical background to uh, what I've tentatively calling uh, in search of a theoretical framework to conceptualize my own teaching. Uh, so I'll give you a historical background of my work to show the impetus which led me to where I am at the moment in my search for a theory to inform my own teaching. I will then provide you the context in which this search is taking place. Thereafter, I will highlight the four questions which have assisted me to think about the process of theorizing. Finally, I want to show you my model, which I have designed to orient and prepare my students to become specialists in the chosen subjects in primary education. So uh, let's begin by looking at the historical background. So in the academic year 2012 and 13, the School of Education introduced a new module on the PGCE early years and primary courses. This module resulted from a shift in the thinking of the leadership team uh, as a response to several stimuli. The first one was the increased attention given to subject specialism and subject knowledge uh, emerging from the messages from the Department for Education in London. The second, uh, in, which was an internal factor, was the preparation for the inevitable Ofsted inspection, which at that time we were expecting uh, in, in that particular year or the year after. Finally, there was a renewed strategy to attract more students to the courses. I'm sure you are aware of the employment agenda. The context in which uh, all this took place was that we were asked by the module leader um, to create a template and to complete the requirements of that template. Uh, I submitted a paragraph which encapsulated my philosophy and my aims of what I wanted to achieve in that particular uh, module. So I will show you the paragraph that I had included at that time, which is, oops, it's gone ahead. Yeah. So that's the paragraph that I had written there. And uh, I was saying to the students, the thinking which informed my module in religious education uh, of the primary focus module as part of the entire uh, PGCE module is that you should become, this is my students, to become leaders of their own learning. Once you have become leaders of your own learning, you can then become the leader of your peers' learning. Thereafter, with this combination, you then take this responsibility into primary schools so that you can then become the leader of children's learning in school. That's what I had submitted uh, and I had put forward. Later in September 2013, we were asked to present or to sell our module to the rest of the students who had come in, which is about 240 students. And on that day, unlike my colleagues who gave an oral presentation, uh, I used the whiteboard instead. So I took my felt pen, went to the whiteboard, uh, because I wanted to capture the audience by doing something different. I wanted to present my menu which is what I've started to call it, visually. So that there I was doing something different, visually presenting my idea to the students. This is what I had scribed on the board on that Friday morning at approximately 10.20 when my turn came. So I had written O, F, S, T, E, and D. Now, some of you are familiar, as you can see, there, were, there is a hidden message in that, uh, in that idea that I was beginning to design my module. And that's Ofsted. You should all be familiar with Ofsted um, because they are the people who are responsible for uh, the success of our schools or otherwise. But there, uh, there it was in front, Ofsted, and like this, this evening, you know, I had a few giggles from colleagues, and colleagues were uh, impressed with what I had said. However, at that time, I did not know what I was doing with this tool. That is the philosophy that I had presented to my students and also the acronym which I had presented to uh, my colleagues and, and, and the students who had enrolled. However, this tool came to haunt me after teaching the module for the second time in the academic year 2013 and 14. I subsequently realized that I was laying the foundation for the search of a theory to inform my teaching and my practice. Consequently, I resolved to begin the search, but I was faced with another problem. Well, where do I start from to find a theory for my teaching? 
I found I found a series of questions proposed by McNiff and Whitehead. They resonated with my quest for a theatrical framework. I also found them helpful as I did not know why I was searching for a theory. In fact, admittedly, I still have to establish why a theory is needed for educators in the first place. They proposed the following questions. The first one is, what is your concern? So what were my concerns? I'm specifically concerned about the confidence of my students to teach religious education in a UK context where religion is increasingly being politicized. When I looked at the profile submitted by the students, it made me less concerned about the critical engagement with the content of the subject. Of course, I'm making an assumption as postgraduates, they are competent in the skills. However, I'm more concerned about the pedagogy and the extent to which they are able to transfer what they have learned during the course into the classrooms and beyond. Based on my experience, I have, I'm also concerned about the extent to which they interact and develop teamwork and collegiality, since they are a diverse group of students coming from a wide range of backgrounds. Moreover, I want to assist my students to discover their implicit knowledge and the potential for transforming this implicit knowledge into explicit knowledge by positioning their learning in a complex environment which will bring together their personal experiences, their interactions, their knowledge, from various communities that we uh, visit uh, in this module and also the personal search. This would enable them to relate to and contextualize their entire learning through this module. Fryer suggests that people can only transform the world if they are able to name it in their own words. I want to begin dis to dismantle the tension which may exist between these future teachers and the religious and secular communities in which they will operate in future uh, and, in, and in future and in the careers. Why am I concerned? The aims of this multidimensional menu, which is what I'm calling it now, is to assist me and my trainees to achieve the, the mutual humanization so that we are able to change the teaching of religious education for the better. According to Fryer, most people challenge themselves and the world in which they live by being neither oppressors nor oppressed in a collective strive for a better world. So what have I done? I have designed a module, and I will show you the uh, diagram in a minute. The module itself consists of several teaching and learning methods. They are informed by the mission statement of our School of Education, where we want students to be committed, creative, and confident. And at the moment, this is how it looks like. And I have deliberately chosen uh, a hexagon because I believe that's the most strongest um, formation that you can have. So there are tutor-led sessions in there where I invite them to reflect and create teamwork and problem solve. Then there is an independent research task, again, to get the personal search going along. The evidence for that is my case studies that I have gathered uh, over the years. We then have field work so that they can interact and go into places of worship of various kinds and talk to uh, people from religious communities. I have workshops where the students become the leaders of their peers. They do the research, they present the research, and they face questions from their colleagues. I have an ICT uh, element for it, which is the weakest link at the moment. And finally, I ask the students to lead seminars so that they can prepare the leadership skills, their, uh, uh, pr uh, their, their planning material, uh, and be uh, in a confident position where they can show the commitment uh, to the teaching and learning. So in, in a nutshell, uh, maybe I'm trying to encompass it through this model, a teacher who is reflecting, evaluating, and researching. Uh, and the evidence is ongoing, uh, both from my own work, not in this module, in another module, but also through module evaluations, specific interviews, uh, and also research carried out by other students. Thank you very much for your attention.